Hello! Today we'll be showing you how easy it is to install your new Virtual Blade LED Grill Light Bar. To complete the installation, you will need some simple tools and the hardware that is included in the box. But don't forget to always read the PDF instructions by scanning the QR code in the box, or you can always find them on our website or via the link in the video description. Some of the wiring hardware included with the light bar are zip ties and add a fuse, scotch locks, spade female connectors, and a ground terminal. If you purchased the wireless remote kit, you should have received the wireless remote and wireless module. The tools you'll need are electrical pliers, electrical tape, a ratchet wrench with socket set, and a screwdriver. Let's begin! To start, you'll of course need access to your grill. Remove any paneling and bolts needed to give yourself enough room to be able to fish zip ties and plugs through. Some, but not all vehicles, will require the grill to be removed entirely. But don't worry, we will have a separate video soon on how to do that step by step. Place your light bar where you'd like it on your grill and feed plugs through and up the grill. Set the plugs out of your way and get ready to zip tie your grill in place. Make sure there is a solid structure you can zip tie to in all three spots and that it is centered. Then zip tie firmly. The lattice clips on the light bar make it so that you can use the zip ties vertically or horizontally and they are hidden behind the clip either way. If you are installing a second light bar, simply repeat these steps. Once you zip tie the light bar nice and tight, don't forget to cut off the excess of the zip tie. Now, you need to reconnect those plugs you previously fished through the grill to the driver box. Next comes the wiring. First, strip your black wire and install the provided ring terminal. Next, install the provided add a fuse connector to the red wire and add the fuse on top. Here's what your wire should look like. Now, the next bit of wiring is only necessary if you are planning on using the work blade strobe functions. You can remove the protective casing back a bit to reach wires easier. You'll need to add the spade female connectors to the remaining color wires. Then connect the white wire to the blue wire on the remote module. Connect the orange wire to the yellow wire on the remote module. Then cut and strip the red and black wires on the remote module and connect them to the light bar red and black wires using the scotch locks provided, red to red and black to black. Here's what it should look like. Also, don't forget to use electrical tape on any exposed wires. Here, you will connect your black wire to the battery and connect your red wire to the fuse box. The rest of your wires don't require any permanent installation and are just to set styles, like startup sequence and DRLs, or for the work blade strobes, pattern, and speed. This is done by tapping them to the ground. Once satisfied with your selections, 
collect all of your wires and bundle them up with a zip tie and hide them.